Hey everyone, welcome back. As some of you might have already seen in my video where I made a house call, I had a little bit of a dye mishap and ended up accidentally having some drops of black dye land on these Cheney uh, tan wingtips. Now that can be a huge problem because once dark dye is applied to a lighter colored shoe, it's almost impossible to remove. And acetone isn't enough. As you can see here, I'm using the Decapont by Saphir and uh, it's not working. So this dye is in there and it's not coming out. So we're gonna have to find another solution. Now, if this has happened to you before, uh, you're gonna have to, well, the only way to actually fix this problem is to use a special opaque leather paint, not leather dye, leather paint to cover uh, that little mess and to match the colors really well and uh, get that looking back to normal. Remember, there are a lot of leather paints on the market, and I found that all of them work pretty well. Um, you can use Angelus and eyeball some colors and mix them together so they all work and uh, they all mix pretty well and you can have a pretty good result. I think I'll be the first to admit that the shoes will never look 100% factory perfect, but that's okay. Once the shoes are on your feet, no one's ever going to notice, but people will notice an unsightly black dot. Uh, by the eyelet, so it's important to get in there and try to find um, a solution to make your shoes look normal and perfect in their own way. So now it's time for the second layer. I'm using a little bit of a darker paint here just to blend everything in and so it doesn't look so splotchy and obvious. This is really important. You want to blend darker and lighter shades together to kind of give it that camouflage effect so that when they're on your feet you can't tell they were ever repaired. Now to make sure one side doesn't look uneven or obviously repaired, I'm making sure to go over the opposite side with a little bit of the paint just to make it look even and make it look like it's on purpose and that both sides are, are basically the same. It's just a little bit of a, an artistic measure there to make everything even. I also use some Saphir uh, Renovating Repair Cream uh, as a last step just to make sure it all matched pretty well. It's not good over huge areas of your shoe, but it's good for small, tiny patches. And then I use Saphir Dia Dior shoe, shoe Polish in Cognac um, just to make sure that uh, there was some cream on that area. And then I used a hair dryer. And after it was all dried, I gave it about an hour. I gave it a nice brush and uh, looked at the final results, and I think everything looks great. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick tutorial. As you can see from your feet, no one's ever going to notice that there was ever an issue. But without this repair, people would definitely notice that black spot. So if you ever have this happen to you, you can always watch this video and take measures to make sure your shoes look great. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Elegant Oxford. Links to my pages are in the description of this video. Remember, always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. See you next time.